For millennia, humanity has looked up at the night sky, finding meaning and wonder in the stars. Long before cities or writing, our ancestors tracked the heavens, using the stars as their first calendar and map. Around ancient fires, they saw stories in the constellations, gods, monsters, and heroes. This curiosity about the cosmos is a thread connecting us to those early stargazers. Their careful observations mark the birth of science, not in labs, but beneath the open sky. Imagine lying under a brilliant Milky Way feeling both small and deeply connected to the universe. The questions they ask, what are those lights, are we alone, still drive us today. Our journey from ancient fields to space missions is an unbroken chain of wonder. For countless generations humanity's understanding of the universe was shaped by what we could see with our own eyes. The night sky was a canvas of mystery, its secrets hidden in distant points of light. We gazed upward, wondering what lay beyond, limited by the reach of our vision. Everything changed with the invention of the telescope. Suddenly, the cosmos was no longer out of reach, glass lenses brought the heavens closer, revealing details never before imagined. When Galileo first peered through his simple spyglass, he discovered mountains and craters on the moon, and moons orbiting Jupiter. These revelations shattered centuries-old beliefs, and forever changed our place in the cosmos. Telescopes became our windows to the universe but, Earth's turbulent atmosphere blurred and distorted our view, like peering through rippling water. Even the most powerful ground-based observatories face this challenge. Astronomers built observatories atop remote mountain peaks chasing clearer skies and thinner air. They crafted ever-larger mirrors, pushing technology to its limits, but the atmospheric veil remained. The next great leap was bold, launching telescopes into the vacuum of space far above the blurring effects of our atmosphere. In 1990 the Hubble Space Telescope was launched into orbit, for the first time we saw the universe in breathtaking clarity, stellar nurseries, dying stars and galaxies billions of light years away. Hubble transformed astronomy, it helped us measure the universe's age, revealed the existence of dark energy, and inspired generations. Yet even Hubble had its limits, unable to see the faintest, oldest light. To peer further back in time to the universe's earliest moments we needed a new kind of telescope one that could detect the invisible ancient light in the infrared spectrum. We dreamed of a successor, a machine of unprecedented ambition and complexity, capable of unlocking secrets hidden since the dawn of time. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, the next chapter in our quest to explore the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2021, is the most powerful space observatory ever built. Its giant gold-coated mirror over 6 meters wide collects faint, distant light invisible to Hubble. Webb's mirror is made of 18 hexagonal segments, each designed to reflect infrared light. To see in infrared, Webb must stay incredibly cold, protected by a five-layer sunshield the size of a tennis court. One side faces boiling heat, the other, colder than anywhere on Earth. Webb orbits 1.5 million kilometers from Earth at the L2 point, keeping the Sun, Earth, and Moon behind its shield. This stable, frigid environment lets Webb detect the faintest heat from the earliest galaxies. Getting Webb to space required folding it like origami and a flawless high-stakes deployment, its success is a triumph of engineering and human curiosity. Webb's true power lies in its ability to see infrared light, heat, invisible to our eyes. Unlike visible light, which is easily blocked by dust and gas, infrared light can slip through these cosmic veils, revealing secrets that have remained hidden for billions of years. This unique vision allows Webb to open a new window onto the universe, showing us what was once impossible to see. This lets it peer through cosmic dust clouds, revealing the birth of stars and planets hidden from visible light telescopes. In regions where thick clouds of dust would otherwise obscure our view, Webb's infrared eyes can cut through, exposing the intricate processes of star and planet formation. We can now witness the earliest stages of stellar life, as gravity pulls gas and dust together to ignite new suns. In stellar nurseries, Webb sees newborn stars and planets forming, uncovering the origins of worlds like our own. These nurseries are cosmic cradles, where swirling clouds of gas and dust collapse under their own gravity, sparking the birth of stars and the disks that may one day become planets. By studying these regions, scientists hope to better understand how solar systems, including our own, come to life. Webb's second superpower, seeing ancient red-shifted light stretched by the expanding universe, lets it look farther back in time than any telescope before. 
As the universe expands, light from the earliest galaxies is stretched into longer, redder wavelengths making it invisible to traditional telescopes but perfectly visible to Webb. Light from the first stars and galaxies over 13 billion years old is now infrared. Webb's instruments are tuned to detect this faint, ancient glow, allowing us to study the universe's first luminous objects. These observations help us piece together the story of how the cosmos evolved from darkness to light. Hubble glimpsed the universe's teenage years, Webb looks back to its infancy. By comparing the two, we can see how galaxies grew and changed over cosmic time, tracing the universe's evolution from its earliest moments to the rich, complex structures we see today. By detecting this ancient light, Webb acts as a time machine capturing the cosmic dawn. Each observation is a snapshot from billions of years ago, letting us witness the birth and growth of the first galaxies and stars. It's not just taking pictures, it's witnessing the universe's first moments of light. Webb's discoveries are rewriting our understanding of cosmic history, providing evidence of events that shaped everything we see today. For the first time, we can study the era when the first stars ignited. Scientists are now able to analyze the composition, structure and evolution of these ancient objects, unlocking clues about the origins of matter and the building blocks of galaxies. Webb is revealing a period of cosmic history we've never seen before. With every new image and discovery, we're expanding the boundaries of human knowledge, venturing deeper into the universe's past than ever before. In just a few short years, the James Webb Space Telescope has already upended our understanding of the early universe, revealing a cosmos far more complex and surprising than we ever imagined. Astronomers once expected to find only small, chaotic proto-galaxies in the universe's infancy. Instead, Webb has discovered massive, mature galaxies that existed far earlier than anyone predicted, challenging the very timeline of cosmic evolution. Take Maisie's galaxy for example, spotted just 390 million years after the Big Bang. According to old models, galaxies like this shouldn't exist so soon. Its presence forces us to question how quickly matter organized itself into the grand structures we see today. Webb has found many such ancient galaxies, each one a puzzle piece that doesn't quite fit our previous theories. These discoveries are forcing scientists to rethink how quickly galaxies formed and what conditions made their rapid growth possible. These surprises are science at its best, challenging our assumptions, sparking debate and opening up entirely new questions about the universe's origins and evolution. Maybe the first stars were much bigger and brighter than we thought, or perhaps dark matter played a different, more active role in shaping the cosmos. Webb's data is pushing theorists to revisit and refine their models. But Webb's impact doesn't stop at galaxies. It's also revolutionizing exoplanet research, using its powerful instruments to analyze starlight as it passes through the atmospheres of distant alien worlds. Webb has already detected water vapor on planets orbiting other stars, and it's now studying rocky exoplanets in the habitable zones where liquid water, and maybe even life, could exist. For the first time in history, we're close to asking, and maybe even answering, whether life might exist on planets light years away from our own. The possibility is no longer just a dream, it's a real scientific pursuit. Webb's discoveries are rewriting the cosmic story, transforming our understanding of how the universe began, and what it might hold. The search for life beyond Earth is no longer science fiction, it's a scientific quest, and with Webb leading the way, we're closer than ever to finding answers to some of humanity's oldest questions. Webb's discoveries may seem distant, but they're deeply connected to us. Every atom in our bodies, except hydrogen, was forged in ancient stars. When Webb studies star formation it's uncovering the origins of the elements that make life possible. The universe is a grand chemical factory, and we are its children. Building Webb pushed the limits of engineering with innovations that ripple into everyday life. The pursuit of cosmic knowledge drives progress in technology, medicine, and more. Most importantly, Webb is a global collaboration, thousands of people, united by curiosity. Its images remind us we share a fragile planet, traveling together through space. The cosmos gives us a shared perspective, and a sense of wonder. The story of cosmic exploration is far from over. Webb is just the start of a new chapter, every answer sparks new questions. Science is a journey not a destination, a perpetual voyage into the unknown. The images and data from Webb belong to everyone, inspiring us to dream bigger. Our curiosity connects us to the first stargazers and to future generations, who will go even further. The universe is revealing its secrets, one photon at a time.
The quest for knowledge unites us across cultures and time. Next time you look up, remember the golden eye of Webb, gathering ancient light on our behalf. The voyage continues. Our curiosity is the ship, and the cosmos is our destination. There is no end to this adventure.